Really, welcome back to my Let's Play of Super Pokemon Eevee Edition. I've kind of teleported myself to Professor Oaks and I wasn't anywhere interesting last time. So yeah, let's go see what he says because we have some side quests to do now. Ah, I see you've scammed a shiny Pokemon, which I may have may or may have not done on screen, I'm not sure. I think I've scanned two though, one was definitely off screen. We didn't see a shiny on screen, but I don't think I used the Pokedex on it. I've created a machine that uses a machine. It uses scanned shiny data to create an existing Pokemon into a shiny. There are some limitations. Firstly, you can only change one Pokemon for every wild shiny you scan. Secondly, you can only change a Pokemon into shiny if it cannot evolve anymore. Thirdly, because this is still a beta, only a select few Pokemon can change into shiny. Currently, basically the Kanto and Johto starters, even though I don't think Typhlosion's in the beta at the moment. The device is just behind me. Use the computer to activate it. So yeah, let's actually have a look. Since Venusaur is the only one that would... This one then? I'm um, Shiny Morpher Machine 2011. Enable Shiny Gen... Yeah, we only have two. So obviously we don't have... It. We, we only have Venusaur. We don't have Charizard last days. We have Totodile and Chikorita. But yeah. Enable Shiny Venusaur. Indeed. And that means... Uh, what number do I do again? Not that number, uh, I can't remember. I don't want any. Normal, sorry. Um, seven, no. Six, yes. And now we have a shiny Venusaur, and I guess we can maybe look into a battle with him later or so, and it's the only one we can get shiny anyway. Errands. We did the first errand a very long time ago, which was a game where to go to a port key mark for something or that. I need an Iron Knight to steal it. Problem is, it's quite expensive. Luckily, the Aroma Town Pokemon Lab has a spare. I need you to go get it for me, you know, borrow it for a bit. So we're off to borrow something from the Pokemon thingy my bub. Um, Pokemon Lab in the town right here, as it's Arum Town. Um, shouldn't be very difficult, should it? If I, can, if, I can, if I can get in anyway, I think it's that machine maybe? If I'm the distiller, what do you want to see? We're doing important research. What do you want? A Pokemon. I'm a Pokemon. A Pokemon. This is a Pokemon, my rabbit. It's a Pokemon. I give them away for free. Okay. Kid size dice. Anyway, let's go back to Professor Oak after that quick simple little errand for him and give him the what do you mean, call it that we just got. Um. So yes. Errands. Ha! Huh, great job. Here's a robot. We got a rare candy. I could have got a rare candy from doing this errand instead of going around this place constantly looking at berry trees for berries. Thank you, Professor Oak. Anyway, let's go for the next errand. I have a bit of a problem. I was experimenting on some A-Poms. Details are irrelevant. Problem is, they escaped. I need you to catch them for me. They've been sighted around Tessel Creek, Aroma Town, and Route 1. So yeah, catch a balls are special Pokemons that are designed to only catch a specific Pokemon. Upon defeating an Apom, they will automatically be caught in a catcher balls. There are five Apoms to catch, you should be heading off now. So why do we don't get to keep an Apom? I'm pretty sure we don't. Um, but yeah, I think apparently there's two in the town somewhere. Is there perhaps maybe one hiding up here? No, not a writing hiding there. So route one is this route one or is this a different route? Oh, this is Tasto Creek. So yeah, there's going to be one here. So we've got a lovely apron. Won't be too long to be in the kind of like having shiny Venus are there. This looks pretty awesome. Yeah, they're going to be. I never know, paid attention to the level, but I'm guessing pretty weak most likely. So yeah, we got one apron. Oh, Graveler is evolving now. That is lovely, we have a golem now. Yay, and that note actually, I'm going to equip Pikachu with the Thunderstone and I think once, either after a battle or once it levels up again, it will evolve, I'm pretty sure, so we'll have a look at that then when it can happen. Um, hmm, thought there was another one here. Unless Task of Creek continues on over this way as well. I'm not sure, we don't want a Carter P, go away Carter P. Um, yep, and Pikachu's got to evolve now because we gave it a Thunderstone, so now our whole team is finally fully evolved, well our main team. 
No, we're on Route 5, so it's Tassel Creek, the town, and let's see, actually, there should be, well, there's only one in Tassel Creek, there should be two in the town and two in Route 1, um, so yeah, I was just wasting my time wandering around here, um, I never saw any in the town, though, at least one by quite close, oh, there's one, right there, taunting me, maybe we need to beat them in a certain order or something, we'll find them in a certain order, so yeah, uh, Gollum is very invisible there, <laughs> I um, can't really see him now, um, mainly because Raichu is that big and he's just got his little iron popped up. But I think they're just, is just using the back sprites from the gold, silver, crystal games. I'm not sure particularly which one, but I'm guessing it is them, so they didn't really have... This would be the last one for a time. They didn't really have the best back sprites at times, at least now we're in Pokemon Black and White, that you actually get the full body instead of just a part of them. I don't even get Sparkle? I'm going to see what Sparkle does. Um, I'm guessing that is Raichu that has Sparkle. And there's a next one. Um, yes, she. Come on, Raichu. 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 Um, let's go for a helping hand. Now, let's see what Sparkle does. Oh, wait. You don't have Sparkle. Cut Sparkle. Charm. Sparkle. What the fudge does Sparkle do? Aww, I thought Sparkle would like, be a lot more e epic. Let's go for Explosion. Whoa, Explosion actually is pretty epic. Even that did a poor amount of damage to a weak Apom like that. I think I'm getting a lot of boxing gloves from these things. Berry. Anyway. There's one more. There is. And after that, I think we'll have one more earn for Professor Oak. And then we'll actually only have one more side quest. And then we're finished, as far as I know. And there's one more, I'm not sure if I've done or not. Um, so I honestly don't remember, but I can't find the person I'm supposed to talk to for it. But I'll go have a look and nonetheless. There's two side quests that I've already done. Um, one is pretty much to the left and up to whatever the lake is. And we have to go for the cage you have to find that kid's friends is one. Another was in the next town where... Was it? We had to do something with pa a paper. We had to give pamphlets out or something by talking to people, which I did um, at some point, which I don't really remember, but I must have, so yeah. Anyway, let's go see Professor, Professor Oak. Great job catching iPhones. Oh, we got a Thunderstone. I just used my Thunderstone. <laughs> I don't know who else a thunderstorm would be useful for that we have. Anyway, we got a trophy apparently. Catch our all the escape tape bombs. Yay! Um, I used to be a professor of the own town, but due to a biased inquiry, I was sent to a mental institution. <laughs> but before I was sent, I had all my research documents. I had one near the lake in Academy Garden, north of Venta City. Need you to find it. I've activated the target beacon, so you'll see it flashing. Okay. Um, so we need to go a bit further this time. Um, it would be quicker, would it be quicker just going in the house or cycling along? I'll just cycle along, because seeing where I have to go, it's not like it's in the actual next town. It's like up here somewhere, and this is where I was in about where the... Um, what did help someone find his friends that got lost? It might have been this kid here. Actually, it's probably the one over to the right there. Um, but yeah, I think it's... Gotta be somewhere around here. Um, hmm. I'm not sure where it is. It's obviously, somewhere in here, isn't it? It is here, I think. Um, as you did say at the academy, so maybe it's nearer there. I don't know. And um, wait a second, what does that say? Gar head to the academy garden, go to the right side of the lake, you'll find a flashing beacon. As you can tell, I'm using a guide kind of just for quickness instead of just fumbling around and everything. And um, the right side of the lake is a way over there, so yeah, this is kind of where we need our team, so I'll take it back up. Uh, well, that's not use. Yes, I want to go to this side. And it should be somewhere around here, maybe? Ah, there it is, that tiny little... I was expecting something larger. Anyway, we got the document capsule. Yay! And we just cycled right over a bench. Anyway, I would just cycle back. It might be quicker just going in the house, but I'll cycle back nonetheless anyway. Um, because why not? Um, the only problem will be wild Pokemon, providing we can avoid them, which obviously in the Centrix case is not possible. So yes, yeah, let's escape with our shiny Venusaur. 
and they go back to Professor Oak, and I believe this is the last urn for the time being. Obviously, future releases of the game will probably have more urns from Professor Oak. But yeah, this is just the first four, um, even though I've only shown three, because we already did the first one a while back. I used to be a Professor Oak joke, blah, 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 blah. Target, you'll see it for like, oh, you found it! Great work! We got the sable! So I think that's all. Oh, I have no real errands available right now. Why would I have any more errands? I do wish you knew exactly what he was going to do with some of the stuff and what he was doing with the A-pums and everything. But yeah, the last errand of my knowledge is actually here. I have to take this kid here. Do you, do you like collecting? <laughs> well, I like collecting beetles, but I'm too scared of them. <laughs> How will you find a beetle for me? I only need five. All five can be found in this town. The first is a house beetle. The beetle manual says it can we found in small indoor plants. Actually, I'm sure I've seen one around here. And it's right here. I'm sorry that we- Oh, it was right under my nose. Next is a brown beetle. They're usually found on fences. So yeah, there's obviously a lot of fences in town, but it's a fence here, right to the right of the lab that we want to get it from. Obviously, this quest will probably normally take a while when you're just, like looking around for everything and that. So yeah, next is the light beetle. They're found on the fences. <laughs> I can't remember exactly where this one was again. Actually, I do. I do. I think. I think it's here. Yep, white beetle. I did this thing off screen so I know where all of them should be, but I was starting to forget. Next is the green beetle. I usually found a small bushes. And again, there's a lot of bushes, but it's the bush here. Really, is not going to take too long. It's really just searching everything um, for it. And this one's probably the easiest, apart from the first one, because it's like, hmm, where can I cut a tree? There and here, so. You don't really have that much, um, that much is not to really do. Well, so that's a problem. You know, don't take this anymore. And we got a blue ribbon, yay! And the last challenge, if it's even there, maybe I have to do these first? That was side quest. I don't know if it's there or not, um, but it's supposed to be here, and it's just, I might have done it already. Um, I can't remember what, uh, we're supposed to find fossils, which I may have done this, like, there's supposed to be a person with glasses or something outside the Pokemon Center, and it's not this guy because he just explains how the um, texture element works. So yeah, I think that's us pretty much finished with Super Pokemon Eevee Edition for the time being. There's not anything else really to do. Um, apart from wait until the next version of the game is released. And probably when that happens, because I know there's a lot of changes, I will probably play for it again, but I probably won't record all of it. I'll probably just like cut it all down to what the newer things are. So if there's like things that have changed, I'll probably take note of that. If there's parts of a town that have changed, I'll take note of that. Any Pokemon that have changed and everything, different corrupted Pokemon you could get in different locations or whatever. I'll probably do that and then I'll probably continue on normally when I get to the point where I finish the main story um, last time, which was actually quite a few parts ago. So yeah, that was... It has been a really enjoyable game so far. It's probably like I've not really played that many fan games and I want to stay, but I do have to say I do quite enjoy it a lot just because it's quite different and everything. It's like not just a typical um it isn't really for the Pokemon formula as much as others do, so yeah, I think that's pretty nice. Anyway, um I'll probably don't know depending like when the next version is released and what I'm uploading at the time, I may not upload be doing it right away. But I'll probably do a video to let you know it's been updated at least if you I play it as well. But yeah, thank you for watching Super Pokemon Eevee Edition. Yeah, whether it's just your first part, your last part, your third part or whatever. I think I may just add an extra bit on the end. Um as I said before, um let's see. I could ever get in. The radio here changes the battle music, so I think I might just add a bit on the end if you're interested in the battle music, what it changes to depending on what number you have, and um, that's really if it interests you. But other than that, if you're not interested in that, this is pretty much where the video is going to end. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.